Hello bandits. Um, it's a little bit of a weird setup today. It's not very green screeny and it's not very gamingy, but there is a roaring fire just here that is not at all a television. Um, today <laughs> I uh, have been sat at work fretting because the beautiful Athena, my wife, kept sending me videos of empty Amazon boxes saying, oh no, they haven't delivered it. She sat right there and smirking, very happy with herself. Um, but oh, it's not a light piece of kit. I have got my hands on an Xbox Series X. Genuinely, Microsoft, you have to rethink your naming structure because I had to really consider the name of this for a moment. Um, so it said it was going to arrive on the 19th, but for some reason, Amazon delivered. Um, and as you might be able to see, I haven't even broken the seals yet. This is how much I love you folks. So, I'm, oh, even that's just quite nice on its own. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's get in. I'm hoping, beyond hope, that it all survived uh, the journey from wherever Amazon have been keeping it. Um, I'm going to do my best not to keep the box, even though I'm a bit of a box hoarder. How am I, am I doing this wrong? Is there another one that I've got to do? There is another flap there that I'm going to get off, because I'd rather not rip anything. It is a weighty, weighty box. Right. Aha, more. They're quite nice little, it's not um, sellotape, it's little weird, thick, plasticky bits with not sticky bit there. So they have made it quite easy. Attention, chez certain personnes, I think that means for certain people. L'utilisation de ce jeu nécessite des précautions d'employés particulières qui sont details dans le notice de joint. Right, um, I am 100% not French. Uh, but if you understood any of that, well done. Oh, okay. Oh. It's my first look, I haven't seen it yet. You can see it before I do. No, it's just a big, that's not it. Oh. <laughs> that, even that's not it, it's in a little bag. Power your dreams. Oh, this is not a light bit of kit. But to be fair, it apparently powers my dreams, so that's good. That's it's what we like to call crafting material in the map household. <laughs> and this is Lex box. Okay, that's the bottom. <laughs> it's heavy. Right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to get this out and then we can see if we can get a bit closer. Don't drop it. That is, it's bigger than I thought it was actually. It's quite a bit bigger than I thought it was. It looks like a subwoofer or as a lot of people are calling it, a mini fridge. Right, I'm going to put it down on the floor there very gently um, just so that I don't drop it as I'm bringing it a bit closer to you. Right, let's have a... So I always thought that bit at the top was lights. It's not, it's just green bits on the plastic. Um, but there is a lot of ventilation. Is that, what is that? That's a fan. That is, that is just one huge fan. It looks quite nice inside actually. Um, you're not gonna be able to see that, but it is quite um, 2001 A Space Odyssey-esque. Now, slight drawback in that I've heard very uh, from a very reliable source that you can't take this bottom bit off. So you can lie it down on its side, thus, which I am thinking about doing, but this big circle bit stays on, which coincidentally says Xbox, hello from Seattle. So hello Seattle, that is nice. So we've got the standard stuff, we've got a USB port at the front, we've got two USB ports at the back, we've got an HDMI out, We've got uh, the storage expansion. There is a little, it's almost like um, a USB port which comes from Seagate. No RGB, how does it work? Well, I don't, I, actually, I don't think there's an optical 
I was about to be quite smart because all the other Xboxes had optical leads on them, but it doesn't. It does have, of course, uh, an Ethernet port. We've got two USBs on the back. We've got the power, which is just straight in there with kind of a figure of eight radio cable, which I quite like. It means it's unlikely there's a transformer in this box. Autobots roll out. Let's have a look. We've got additional support. Oh, the controller. I haven't, I haven't even thought about the controller. Oh, look, it tells you on there. What's there? Storage, Ethernet, USB, power, and Hudemi. And that is literally it. I have got the new Xbox app, and I both love and hate the new Xbox app on Android because it looks really good. It's really in keeping with the Xbox kind of family UI. However, it no longer has the option to redeem uh, codes. And whenever I get sent codes from uh, developers, as I'm very lucky to do, they just send a code, and I used to be able to put it in the app and just grab it, but no more, I have to use the PC. So, we have one standard radio cable that I'm pretty sure they didn't have to send, because everybody surely has about 50 of these, unless it's only me that has a big box full of cables. Is it only me? It's not only me. We've got an ultra high-speed HDMI. Suck it, Nintendo Switch. Ultra high. We have product and regulatory guide, limited warranty and agreement. I can get over there. Controller. I'm not going to open that yet. I don't think. Oh, in fact, I think that might be it. That is it. I was going to say I'm not going to open it yet because I'm very excited about that and I was leaving it to last. But it's last. Sorry for my hair, by the way. It's been a long day. Long day, but a good day. Oh. 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 Sorry, I've turned into Eddie from Bottom or Richie. They have provided two batteries, which will last about that long, I imagine. That is why it costs so much. The batteries are in here. Oh, Duracells as well. Oh, they haven't skimped. Look at that. I'm going to put those there. On the wonderful this, this is mounted on a chair. It's really professional here. That's the back. I like it. I do like it. Let's get that up in there. That is quite nice. I do like the, the new kind of experty D-pad bit. That is all very nice. My favourite thing is this button here, which is a share button, which I'm not 100% how it works yet, but I'm going to be testing it fully. Um, nice grippy backs on there. There's got a nice textured back up around there. And it's possible, it's possible that my old battery packs will fit on there which would be nice. But it is just Xbox wireless controller. Now the good thing, of course, is that they're saying that like all the previous technology will work. And almost all of the previous games, like four generations of Xbox now, which is pretty cool. Um, and is the main reason that I prefer Xbox over uh, PlayStation this generation, again, because they've really focused on that backwards compatibility. So, I'm gonna have one more quick look and show you folks <laughs> it is heavy, like. I don't know where we're going to put it. It's not going to fit nicely behind the TV. The other one fitted nicely behind the TV. This one is not going to fit nicely behind the TV. It's Athena's only concern. It is now my only concern because it's her concern. There's a massive, massive fan on in there. Why, for the love of Braben? Do Xbox controllers still need AA batteries in this day and age? Adam, I can't fault your logic. They definitely shouldn't. Like, I've got... Oh, maybe... No battery pack. However, let's have a look at these backs. Because I'm hoping, really hoping, that my... Um, old battery packs will fit on there so I don't have to 
give them another go. Do they look the same? They look pretty darn similar, actually. They look identical. I really, I need to check before I confirm anything. So let's see if we've... Oh. That's a wee. Glasses case. My Athena is on a hunt for my Xbox One controller and she's found it. Oh, wunderbar. Is that the one that actually works? It is. Right. Oh, I'm not going to force it in case I break it, but I'm not going to force it. Oh. I am very scared. Oh, no. Oh. There's these little bits up at the top here. That's the, it's literally the only difference is that the little holes at the top that the bits clip into are very, very slightly more towards the center. <sighs> they knew what they were doing. Oh, is that a USB-C? That might be a USB-C. That would be handy. Grabbing a USB. She's a good egg. She is a good egg. Good old Athena. Does she want to come onto the live stream? That's a that's a big old no. There we are. It's USB C. Isn't that lovely? So our phones and everything will be powered by USB C. So Micro Bandit number one can have all of the micro USBs because I don't need them anymore. I don't need them anymore. Um, so yeah, I mean it's fairly simple. Where's the back gone for that? There it is. In fact, I can probably show you a bit better using these. How this is the old Xbox One battery pack. And it's just ever so slightly different. Literally just on these bits here. James, I am a, I am a very lucky man. I know I'm a lucky man. To be fair, this wasn't meant to turn up. I was expecting it to turn up on Saturday the 19th. And I was quite happy with that because it was going to be a Saturday. It was going to be a wonderful day. Um, but no, I got a message yesterday from Amazon saying, hey, you know that package you ordered? We're going to deliver it tomorrow. Luckily, Athena runs her own business, City Panda. She is wonderful um, from home. So she is in most of the time, except when she's off doing the school runs and battling through all the Huns at school to try and get children. Um, so it's luckily there were people in it anyway. However, I've been sat at work, kind of just tap, tap, tap in. Um, but I am very, 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 very lucky to have been able to get one. Um, and they're expensive as well. Consoles are expensive. I forget how much gaming... Oh, the other thing we got today... Oh, you can't see that. That is just, that's just a white box. Let's try and angle it a little bit. No, nothing. No, there we are. No, ish. Oh, Immortals. Phoenix Rising, courtesy of the folks at Ubisoft. Uh, so that landed today in the Pixel Bandit's office. It might be, I, you know what? I've been saying that it's going to be the first thing that I am going to install. It's not. Elite Dangerous is going to be the first thing that I install on this. 100% Athena knew it. Um... But yes, um, they are the the way that I managed to get mine uh, was through Stock Informer. So they've got an American version, they've got a British version. Obviously, StockInformer.com or .co.uk, um, and it's the only reason that I've actually managed to get one because when they've been going on um, in the various uh, various different online stores, it's been. One minute they're in stock and literally two, three minutes later, they've just completely gone out. Um, so if you go on to Stock Informer, you can do this for any fancy RX graphics cards that you want. You can do it for PlayStation 5, Digital Edition, Xbox, Digital Edition. Uh, and there's a few other things, Nintendo Switch and things like that, that you can do it for as well. Uh, so if you sign up there and you get an app called Telegram, you can join very easily, actually, um, the channel for different stock the different products that they're tracking 
as soon as they get it in, it's the only way that I managed to get one. I got a ping, it vibrated through onto my lovely Elite Dangerous themed smartwatch. Um, pinged up, got a message from Telegram, stock informer. I pretty much threw our youngest baby uh, at Athena uh, and she caught it. She is mostly Welsh, so she's good at that rugby. Um, she caught him. I, <laughs> I just called my youngest baby it. Um, she caught it um, and I dashed and got my laptop and she was like, go! Go, I know your pain. Um, she wasn't like that at all. She kind of went, go on then. Um, so then I went on, managed to get in, managed to order, and I refreshed the page a minute after I'd ordered, um, and it, it had sold out already. So it is the only way that I can see people are going to be able to get one. Um, it is how we got our Nintendo Switch as well, back at the start of lockdown. Um, so I, I would say Stock Informer is completely unaffiliated. I don't get anything from recommending it, and you don't have to pay anything for using it. Um, literally, it's just uh, a website which is going to tell you when things are back in stock. Um, um, it must be nice to receive things on time. <laughs> I did see your tweet earlier, um, waiting weeks for things that are in stock. Um, so, yeah, it was really good. Uh, Amazon told me then once I'd ordered, I... Um, I ordered it, I hung around because I didn't believe that I'd managed to order it, uh, and Amazon said the 19th, and then yesterday I got my message saying, in stock. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think, lay down somewhere, I don't know where it's going to fit honestly, because it is, look, it's, it's as big as my face, like it's huge. Athena's sighing already, she hasn't got a clue where it's going to go, and neither do I. Um, so... <laughs> Will it slide on the bottom shelf? I don't know, because this baby looks like it needs a lot of ventilation. I mean, look at that. That is ventilation city. That's just one big fan. It's just one huge fan. I wish I had them. Um, <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Do you think lay on the side or stood up? Mini fridge or deep freezer? Mini fridge, deep freezer. It does, it does look a lot more like a PC um, than previous generations have. I, I, I think people should game on whatever they want to game on. Obviously, I'm very um, happy for people to play on whatever makes them happy. Uh, mobile, PC, console, whatever. Um, but I, I am a console gamer, definitely. I'm, you think stood up. I think stood up, but where? Where is it going to go? Where it's, it's either a subwoofer, a lot of people are calling it a mini fridge. Are you it on the no, it's not going. It's not going on the windowsill. <laughs> it's not going anywhere oh, near the window. Up. I don't know where it's going to stand up. The thing is, in this house, it needs to be out of reach of children because they ain't touching it. It needs to be somewhere that's nice and tucked away so they're not tempted to reach and touch it. And it needs to, at the moment, be out of view of the windows so we don't get being robbed. Um, it does look nice. I don't know if you can you can get a little view in there in the back. Um, but yeah, I was thinking stood up because it'll take a bit less real estate. We will put up a picture when we've decided, which is going to be in the next few minutes because I need to boot this thing up. It's massive. You can properly hug that. What is that? I think it weighs more than my baby. No, our baby is a chunk. Like, he is a chunky monkey. Um, so, yeah, we shall find out. But, anyway, that's all that's in the box. It's a relatively straightforward one. My favourite thing about it so far is just the fact that it's just a nice, simple cable. It's not one of the massive power pack transformer things that we've had um, with the original Xbox. Did the original Xbox? No, the original Xbox didn't have it. The Xbox 360 original version and Xbox One original version. Because obviously when they slimmed them down, they did manage to go to that cable. Um, and yeah, really simple. Power plug, HDMI, console. I was about to lift up this. It's not this. This is our beautiful Xbox One controller. But it will work with the new one, which is a masterstroke. And I love that. I love the fact that they've tried to make everything as backwards compatible as possible. This is the new controller, and I love it. Oh yeah, we haven't got a cat, 
uh, at the moment. We miss our cat. Sad. I miss Lady. Um, but yeah, she actually. I don't know because I I was going to say she'd bat it off a surface, but it'd be, it'd be quite hard to bat that. She would sleep on it, choke the life out of it with cat hair. The other thing that I'm thinking now is how easy is it to take apart because of cleaning it and getting all the dust out of it. By the fact you can just see into the bottom, there's more ventilation on the bottom. Do you want one? <laughs> A cat, no. To be fair, I don't want any cat that somebody's trying to give away. That's... Um, it's like bank loans. You don't give them to people when they need them. But yeah, that's it. That's all that's in the box. 4K gaming up to 120 FPS. Now this is going to be nice because being on console, I'm, I've been fairly limited with the visuals and the, the FPS stuff. Um, one terabyte hard drive, 4K gaming at 120 frames per second. I'm wondering if Elite is going to have got better with the frames. Because if it is... I won't need to play anything else. Solid state hard drive, one terabyte, 4K gaming, up to 120 FPS. What's the... Require supported content and display. Yeah, we've got that. Ooh, an 8K HDR. Mm. Yeah, really simple. That there is the list of everything that's in the box. Xbox console, HDMI, wireless controller, They've listed wireless networking capability. You've got to, you just got to kind of assume that these days, haven't you? You've got to kind of assume that it comes with wireless built in. I like up to 8K HDR. That's all right. We'll get that. Blu-rays are going to look really good on this. Uh, Xbox Velocity Architecture. Who knows? 4K Blu-ray player. Variable refresh rate. Words. Also, I'll have it known at the moment that Athena has promised me an Oculus Quest 2 for my birthday. Promised. Did you promise? I did. She did promise. I hope that picked that up. Um, I did. She did. You're spoiled. I'm very spoiled. Um, I, oh. There's a ghost. Um, so, yes. I'm not talking about the Oculus Quest today. I will be talking about it incessantly in February. I think the Velocity Arca is fast store. Oh, that was just noise, wasn't it? Sorry, I gave up halfway through that sentence. It's fast storage, so games benefit from them more. I'll hopefully be bringing that to PC. That would be good. Velocity does give kind of a, we're speeding things up message. Hello, Pat. It's, it's nice, isn't it? It is nice. And you'll notice, if you saw the stream that I tried to do on Saturday, my allergies were just going. Um, but not today. I'm okay. I'm kind of recovering. I'm a little bit red down there, but it's fine. Anyway, I'm going to go and try and find somewhere that I can plug this in. This was manufactured on the 25th of September this year. It's a fresh one. I'm very excited. Right. You folks have been beautiful, but I will be entirely honest. You are now in between me and my Xbox Series X getting plugged in and set up for the first time. So... I'm going to stop this. I'm going to make this happen. Sorry, didn't mean to. You're okay. She's fine. Anyway, um, <laughs> you didn't get to see Athena's face then, which was just like, what? Um, right. I'm going to go play some Series X. It's been absolutely beautiful. Um, there are three reviews that are on the way. Uh, Planet Coaster Console Edition, which is going to be even better um, with this. Definitely got to have priorities. You're not wrong, Pat. Um, uh, Planet Coaster Console Edition uh, is enhanced on Series X, so that'll be good. Um, you may have seen a bit of it on the Saturday stream that absolutely went completely wrong. Put the Christmas tree away to make room. Cameron's no. got a brilliant idea. No. We'll just put it away, back in the box. Um, we'll have to increase the room that we allocated for it. Okay, she's flipping me off now. We're not putting the Christmas tree down, apparently. Um, so yeah, three reviews on the way very soon. Planet Coaster Console Edition uh, here on Xbox Series X now. Uh, Empire of Sin 
from Paradox Interactive, and sorry, I should say thank you to Frontier for sending over Planet Coaster as well. Um, Empire of Sin from Paradox Interactive. If you like XCOM, if you like the idea of being a Chicago mob boss in Prohibition Era 20s, uh, then it's going to be for you. It is a corker um, from what I've played so far. I haven't got the full review out just yet. Get Sea of Thieves installed and come for a sale with us. I do need to get Sea of Thieves installed. Um, I haven't played it in too long, considering the fact that Pixel Bandits has the Sea of Thieves community, which is won by some really, really wonderful admins uh, who do all the work and I take all the credit. Um, but they are absolutely beautiful people. Um, the Sea of Thieves? Oh. It's been a really long day and I've been really excited about this. Um, sea of Thieves is going to look amazing on it, I imagine. I can't imagine that it wouldn't. Elite Dangerous is getting installed first. I really need to install Immortals because I've got sent that through today and I need to get a review out for that. That was the third review, courtesy of Ubisoft. Lovely folks over there as well. Um, so that's three reviews on the way. I would review the Xbox, but this was kind of a review. It looks good and it's going to be banging. Um, so that's going to be pretty good. Uh, what else have we got? Nothing. I'm going to go and plug this in. Have fun. Whatever you do, do it slowly and enjoy it. And I will see you again very, very soon. Uh, probably in less kind of Christmas tree shaped stuff. You've been wonderful and we'll see you soon.